हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज अजय कुमार राय वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आर एस एन फिटनेस एस आई एम एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस सेशन वी विल बी कवरिंग व्हाट इज आर एस एन नेट फिटनेस देन कंपोनेंट ऑफ नेट फिटनेस सर्वर व्हाट विल बी आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ नेट फिटनेस सर्वर एंड देन डिप्लॉयमेंट मॉडल फॉर आर एस एन नेट फिटनेस so let's start before we start a discussion on net fitness server i just wanted to give you an overview that in any industry if we are using a different types of devices to monitor those devices every oem has their own product or their own uh, you know technology which is being used to monitor those particular devices and their logs for example If I take an example of checkpoint, so we use checkpoint monitoring server to monitor a multiple checkpoint firewall devices. If we have a Windows server, then we can use suppose I have integrated those Windows server in Active Directory, so we can monitor all those Windows servers and end user system from that Active Directory server. But the challenge is that if there is a different different team for windows firewall ips router switches and if they are doing a individual monitoring then it will be very difficult to consolidate and understand that what is going on in all these devices so to resolve this issue you know uh, there is a new product which came in market near about in 2005 somewhere that is called sim security information and event monitoring or event management solution so rsa net fitness is the similar solution right sim solution before this net fitness rsa came up with uh, another solution that was called rsa envision but now that is end of sale and end of support so today we are going to discuss about rsa net fitness sim server so net fitness servers is a combination of two thing one is called sim and second is called network security monitoring so what is the role and responsibility of sim server sim is responsible for collecting a log from a different different devices maybe router firewall windows ips load balancer ddos all kind of devices it feel it is also capable to collect a log from applications as well but whether those that application is by default supported or not that we can will discuss later so first responsibility or role of sim is log parsing means collection of log and parsing that log so when i'm saying parsing of log it means if i'm collecting a log from cisco device might be possible that a format of that log is different if i'm collecting a log from a windows device that format will be different so when that log we get delivered on sim solution what sim solution does it collects a log in a different different format and then it parses all those value in one common format which helps sim to perform all other activities whether it is related to reporting dashboard alert whatever right so first point is log parsing second point is compliance reporting so every sim tool has a feature to generate a report that report can can be a customized report or you can generate a report as per standard or compliance maybe report for hipaa report for iso report for clbp all these things and third point is incident and alert so if we are collecting a log from a different different devices we can configure alert as per our requirement so this is what is you know uh, in nutshell this is what is sim second point is network security monitoring so network security monitoring solution is capable to capture a packet which may come from a capture device or maybe from that so uh, being dumped somewhere else from there we are collecting it out it will you know in this that particular packet and then that packet will give you a detail for a investigation so for example if i'm collecting a log from a firewall what i can understand that who access what device 
or if I'm collecting a log from mail server, probably I can understand that who sent a mail to whom, but I'll not be able to see what was there inside that particular mail. If there was an attachment, then what attachment was that? But if I'm capturing an entire packet, then probably I can reconstruct that packet and I can see what content was there in that particular mail body. And if there was an attachment that what kind of attachment was there, whether it was a Word file or it was a PDF file or Excel file or whatever. So RSA NetFitness server is a combination of these two things, right? And it helps us to, you know, collect a data. We can say that the big data infrastructure, which is capable to collect a good amount of log and packets, comprehensive visibility, high powered analytics and intelligence driven content. So this NetFitness server is a unified platform which is being used for incident detection, investigation, compliance reporting, dashboard and advanced security analytics. Now I'll move on to the next point. In RSA NetFitness SIM solutions, there are different different components. First is analytics server. So we can say that analytics server is a heart of this solution. It's a GUI access and max of the time this solution will be used to perform maximum activity, whether it is related to reports creation, report generation, dashboard, alert, or device integration, log, fetching a log, all these things. Second component is ESA that is called event stream analysis. So this component of this device is being used to configure and generate an alert. So for example, I want one alert that if somebody is trying to access my firewall from China, then there should be alert and that alert should be forwarded to a firewall administrator. We can configure this alert on ESA. We can integrate our SIM solution with mail server and then we can send a notification to firewall administrator. So this is what is the use of ESA. Third component is concentrator, but before I discuss concentrator, I'll discuss these two components. One is called log decoder and second is packet decoder or network decoder. So basically log decoder component is responsible for collecting a log from a different different devices. Maybe that could be a firewall, router, windows, server, whatever. Network decoder or packet decoder is capable to capture an entire packet. So when log will be landed on log decoder or packet decoder will collect a packet that will be in a different format or that is called a raw format. What these devices will be doing, they will be parsing those log and packet. They will convert those log and packet in RSA format and then concentrator will create an index for those meta. So when it is being parsed, that is called meta. So concentrator will create an index for that meta and whenever you will try to investigate or generate a report or dashboard or anything that time concentrator will check an index and try to identify that where that particular data is and quickly he can go and get the data and give you output. So this is what is the use of concentrator. Third is broker. So suppose I have configured one report and I'm trying to generate that report, but in my scenario, I'm using more than one concentrator. So same query I wanted to execute on more than one concentrator at a time in that scenario we need a broker. So when we install analytic server in that particular server itself this broker service will be included but in certain some certain scenario where I have a more number of devices then you can use a separate broker if you want. Right? Network decoder we discussed it is responsible for collecting a packet from a spam traffic so we can configure a monitor session span traffic. It depends on that particular technology, what command or what method will be used. And then we can collect a packet. Log decoder, as I said, it is responsible for collecting a log from a different different devices. Now, next component is called archiver. So basically, archiver is being used to store your data for a longer time period to comply your organization retention policy. Now this term has come retention policy. So I'll explain generally there are two types of retention policies being used in every organization. One is called online retention and second is called offline retention. 
So online detention means I can use that data anytime to do an investigation or to generate a report or to configure an alert. But offline detention means what I have done, I have taken a backup of that particular log and kept it somewhere else. But whenever I, I, I wanted to use it, that time, <coughs> sorry, that time we need to restore that particular data from offline location to our online location and then only we can use it. So these are the components which are available. One or two more components are there, but that is not relevant to this topic now. We'll discuss those components later. So now I'll move on the next slide. And I wanted to explain here that logical architecture of RSA NetWitness solution. So first architecture is label is called collect data where your log decoder or packet decoder will be responsible for collecting either log or packet from a different devices. Second label is called enrichment of data where your device will be responsible for doing a parsing and creating an index for that particular data. First, third label is called store data where if you're using archiver you can store your data in archiver. If you have a ESA event stream analysis that will store a relevant log for generating alert. Next label is called analyze data which is similar like your analytics server which will be responsible for creating, configuring, generating a report, dashboard, you know doing an investigation all these things. And next label is called incident response. So RSA NetFitness has an inbuilt feature where we can configure an incident for any alert. We can assign that incident and then that person who is owner for that incident, he can take action according to that particular activity. Plus, this, so, this particular tool is also capable to integrate with eCAT, which is responsible for doing a monitoring for endpoint devices. And this SIM tool can be integrated with a separate ticketing tool as well. Maybe that could be IT GRC or some BMC Remedy or many other tools. So this is what is a logical architecture of RSA NetWitness solution. Now I'll move on the next point that is called RSA NetWitness deployment model. So in this deployment model, we will discuss about two different kind of solution. One is for log and second is for packet. So first deployment model could be all in one appliance for log. Now I wanted to tell you one more thing that RSA has a two option, you know, one, you can buy a hardware appliance from RSA or second, you can install it on a virtual software, maybe from VMware, ESXi, Hyper-V and all these things, right? And in our lab, the second method we are going to use, we'll be using a VMware where we'll, be, we'll perform our lab and we'll try to perform all these activity for installation, integration of devices, alerting and all these things, right? So again, I'll come back to this point, all in one for log. If you are buying a solution for all in one for log, then there will be one appliance which will contain three components. One is called log decoder, second is called concentrator, and third is called analytic server or security analytic server. This solution will be capable to capture 7,500 events per second, right? And this kind of scenario is being used for a small organization or maybe for a small deployment method. In this first deployment itself, there could be a second kind of scenario where we wanted to monitor a packet. Then we can buy a solution for all-in-one for packet. Again, there will be a same kind of component, but here that will be a network decoder, concentrator, and analytic server. If we are buying an all-in-one appliance for packet, then that solution will be capable to capture 310 Mbps packet, right? And then again, this is being used for a small kind of deployment. So this is the first model, deployment model, which is all in one, either all in one for log or all in one for packet. Let's say suppose I have a requirement for more than 10,000, 7,500 EPS or for logs or maybe more than 310 Mbps for packet. Then we'll go for second mo model for deployment. In second model for deployment, 
generally we buy two appliances of, or we create two virtual machines that is called a hybrid for lock i'm talking a lock solution not a packet now so one machine will act as a lock decoder and concentrator together and second machine will be analytic server so if you are using a hybrid appliance for decode lock decoder and concentrator then this solution will be capable to handle 10000 event per second this is on document but practically it goes beyond that as well right second if i'm going to deploy a hybrid solution for packet then again there will be a two either a hardware appliances or two virtual machine one hardware appliance will be containing a two component one is packet decoder or network decoder and concentrator and second will contain analytic server if this kind of deployment you are using then this particular solution will be capable to handle 622 mbps packets <clears throat> so this is a second deployment now i'll move on the third deployment that is called a complete a distributed deployment so first i'm going to discuss deployment for lock in this scenario you need a separate appliances for everything or separate virtual machine for everything so if you are taking one decoder Log, one log decoder, one concentrator, and one analytic server, then one decoder will be capable to handle 30,000 event per second. And this scenario is being deployed for a big kind of environment. Similarly, complete distributed solution, if I'm going to take for packet, then in this scenario, there will be a separate appliance for packet decoder or network decoder, concentrator, and security analytics, and this solution will be able to capture more than 2 gbps packet now question comes in mind that what if i have a requirement of more than 30000 event per second maybe 50000 event per second i have a requirement so what we can do in that scenario we can buy two log decoder two concentrator and one analytic server so one log decoder can handle 30000 so if i'm buying two log decoder means that can handle 60000 events per second second scenario for packet Similarly, if I have a requirement of more than 2 GBPS packet, then again I can buy a 2 network decoder, 2 concentrator and 1 analytic server. Right? So I hope this deployment model is clear. So again, I'll just, you know, repeat what we have covered today. So we covered first point, which is what is a net witness server. Right. Then second, we discuss about SIM components. Third, we discuss logical architecture of RSA NetWitness SIM solution. Fourth, we discuss a deployment model. In deployment model, we discuss three things. First, we discuss all-in-one appliance for log. Second, all-in appliance for packet. Second deployment model, we discuss for all-in-one appliance, sorry, hybrid appliance for log and hybrid appliance for network and third model we discuss about complete distributed solution for log or complete distributed solution for network so this is what was a agenda for today now tomorrow what we are going to discuss or maybe in next session what we are going to discuss in next session first we'll we'll proceed for a lab right where we will try to do a installation of netwitness solution First, we will install a base operating system of NetWitness solution on VMware Workstation. After completing that base installation of NetWitness, we'll do installation of analytic server. We'll do a required configuration like IP assignment, host name, DNS, all these things. And after completing an installation of analytic server, we will verify whether the installation is completed successfully or not. What all services we need to check for installation completion once we'll complete this verification activity then we'll try to access our analytic server from gui from browser using a graphical user interface and we will also try accessing using a command line so this is what will be agenda for next session so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe it and share it thanks